lot of this blood on me tonight. Badge of honor. Emmanuel Stewart, if you were Bones Adams' trainer, how would you feel about going to the scorecards after this round? Well, it depends on the fighter himself, how he feels. In my case here, I may not hesitate to go to the scorecards after this. Considering his hands are hurt so bad and he's got a bad cut, he's got a really serious handicap going into this last round of such a crucial fight. There's the butt. That's what brought about the cut. There had been a number of collisions during the fight, grazing collisions. That was not grazing. <laughs> bring the water, bring the water. Don't throw it away. Put it in there. Come on. Okay, this is the last round, guys. <laughs> last round. Last round. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep okay. The last round. Okay. Look, the same way you just fought that round, baby. Okay? Swell. <coughs> Don't give up nothing. This is your Miguel Diaz, outstanding cut man, trying to do his work on Bones Adams. Joe Cortez brings them together at the center of the ring. In round 11, despite the blood flow, Adams still outlanded Ayala by CompuBox numbers. 15 out of 57 to 10 of 64. So it's conceivable that he won the round anyway. I have this fight six to five for Adams. It could easily be the other way. As long as Ayala doesn't land anything above Adams' left eye, Bones will be okay. At least as far as his vision is concerned. But the instant Ayala lands a punch up there, everything will change. Well, at this stage here, I, I, I'm really surprised how Ayala, the last, Ayala, the last two rounds have really become more of a laid-back conservative fighter. And I think that's a result of this tremendous punching power that he's feeling in this experience of the night. Bones' his game bone, plan bone, has worked. Bones is fighting a good fight. He's, he's fighting exactly as he said he would fight. And he said the extra weight that he is a true 122-pounder. And it's amazing what four difference of natural strength and weight can do. Bigger man, bigger punch. That's been the difference in the fight, at least to our eyes. Now they trade shots at the center of the ring, and for the first time, Adam starts to bleed. For the first time in the 12th. So let the record state that halfway through the round, the blood started to flow. Big left hook upstairs by Adams. And another. Pauly countering with his own left hand. Maybe the almost 400 amateur fights, the hard fights he's had with Tapia and all of them has taken an effect also, too. You know, it's, there's so many fights you have left in your body. Oh, and look at the bravery of Bones Adams. Going after it in the 12th round. Monster gash above the left eye of Adams, and still he keeps coming. Folks, if you're still up watching this, it's okay to stand up and applause even if you're alone. Look at the fans on their feet. Another tribute to a supposedly dying sport. 15 seconds to go in what has been a good one. And Ayala chooses for the most part to stay away in the 12th round, even while Adams is compromised by the gas above his eye. A great fight. I have Adams winning. Perhaps it would be poetic justice for a draw, but we seldom get poetry or justice in this game. <laughs> yeah, too good. Providing they didn't call sell them, that's for sure. I think Adams won the last two rounds anyway, despite the gas. Harold, how did you score it? Well, I thought Adams at least won the last round. Clearly, 115, 113, 7.
seven rounds to five. Clarence Bones Adams. I thought he was slowed up a little bit of blood going into his eye, but I question. I thought Paulie did enough to win those uh, 10 and 11, but certainly Clarence Bones Adams pulled it out, sealed the victory with a big round to round 12. Absolutely no question. Clarence Bones Adams, the harder puncher, deserves this one. Three good, solid Nevada judges are scoring this one. Dwayne Ford, they've already Jerry Roth, got a world of experience. There's no reason whatsoever that we should have any kind of conversions. Although Adams himself said that he wouldn't trust the scoring here enough to expect a decision in a close fight, Adams said to us in the fighter meeting that he believed he had to win big or by knockout to assure himself a victory here because he was scared that a close decision would go Ayala's way. He didn't win by a knockout, Pasha, but I think he won big enough. And you heard Harold Letterman say that these are top-notch Vegas judges with big-time credentials. Manny, you think Adams deserves victory in the fight? I think he deserves it, and I think he'll get it. I think uh, he's following the heels of those controversial decisions that he's had recently and other things that's been going on. I think there's a very good chance that they will give him the fight that I think that he won. Well, Michael Buffer's ready, so let's end the suspense and hear who won the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the Budweiser scorecards here at the Mandalay Bay Resort Casino of Las Vegas. Dwayne Ford scores the bout 114 to 113 for Bones Adams. Dave Moretti scores the bout 114 to 113 for Pauli Ayala. And Jerry Roth scores the bout 115 to 112 for the winner by split decision. Now the IBO champion, Pauli. box numbers will favor Adams landing 73 more punches throwing 55 more punches landing at a higher connect percentage power punches if they show it to us will favor Adams landing 193 54 more than Ayala and throwing 66 fewer so that his connect percentage was over 40 percent as opposed to 27 percent for Ayala that's often the case when one man is punching to the body and therefore more accurately it's also often the case that body punchers don't get full credit for what they do Bones Adams was right when he said that if it was a close decision it would go Ayala's way that's what happened let's go to Larry Merchant for the further details Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations to both fighters. Uh, pa Paulie, were you in any way surprised by the decision? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't know it was, it was that close of a fight, but uh, I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, you know, Bones is a good fighter and, and he put up a great fight, but uh, I mean, I felt I had done enough to win. I mean, I didn't just know it was by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Did he punch harder than you thought he could, and was, was he more aggressive than you thought he would be? No, you know that was the that was my plan was to get him out of the counter punching, and like I told you to get him out of his his game and, and, and what he likes to do best, and, and you know he so I made him pressure me, and uh, but no he punched he punched hard as I thought he would. He's a very hard puncher. All right, in the second round, you dazed him with a punch. Did you know how badly he was hurt? Were you going to try to finish him then? Perhaps we can run it up on our monitor. There it is. Uh, yeah, I felt he was hurt, and, you know, I was trying to catch him with some more clean shots, but like I said, you know, Bones, uh, he's dangerous at all times. He hits hard, and, you know, I didn't want to get caught. And, uh, you know, he was doing a lot to, to evade all the punches, too, direct punches. How do you feel after a fight like this in which you've put everything you have out there so is the other guy. The fans are excited. Can can you express what this means to you as a as a veteran prize fighter who's been through wars before? Uh, all I gotta say is, you know, God is good. And uh, 
I mean, it's it's everything I've dream, dreamed of and more. You know, I've, uh, I never dreamed that I would accomplish this much in boxing as far as just being a world champion, fighter of the year, then winning another belt in another division against a great champion. You know, I mean, it's it's more than, you know, my dreams have ever been. Thank you very much, Paulie. Again, congratulations. Bones, get, what about your feelings about the decision? Did you think you had won? You know, at the worst, you know, at the worst, I thought it would be a draw. At the very worst, you know, I think I landed the clearest shots. I uh, was aggressive most of the fight. You know, things happen like that, I guess, you know. You landed a lot of body punches. Yes, Do I, you, that's what I was, that's what I was made. You know, most effective blows is the, is the, uh, is the professional. Not the most pity pass. I was landing good, effective blows to the body, to the